What is going on guys? Matt Downs with Daily Grind Fantasy Sports to pump out my very first Jock Marker content. Before you guys do anything here on this video, please head over to the app. You guys see it on the screen. Download Jock Market right now. Enter the code DGF20. Sit back and listen to my favorite plays on this slate. So for any of you guys that are brand new to Jock Market, let me just quickly explain what it is. So Jock Market can be overcomplicated if you make it complicated. So let me just tell you. All you have to focus on is buying very undervalued players in the form of stocks. If you guys think of about the stock market, you find an undervalued stock, you, you invest in it, watch it rise, and you make money. It's the exact same concept here on Jock Market. And the one thing I absolutely love about Jock Market is it's an open market concept. So you can throw as much or as little money as you want at a certain player, at a certain stock. For instance, like if you think about Apple, you can buy a million shares of Apple or you can literally just buy one. You can do the exact same thing here on Jock Market. Buy one share of, I don't know, Dennis Schroeder tonight, watch him outperform his ranking and you make money. And that's what makes it easy for me and for other content providers is that you're just looking at the ranking that Jock Market gives. And if your projections happen to outperform those initial projections on Jock Market, you buy it. You simply are more bullish on that certain stock or player. So let's talk about how to buy players here real quick and then we'll jump into my favorite plays. You have to buy players during the IPO phase. That is the best strategy for getting a very high ROI. The IPO phase starts at 530 and that's when players start bidding on certain stocks or players. And I will give you guys my favorite players to invest in here right now. So let's head over to the Jock Market official initial ratings here. Um, we're going to show the rankings going from first all the way down the list. As you guys can see, as I mentioned earlier, Luka Doncic is the number one projected stock. Um, Damian Lillard is projected to finish second. Steph Curry projected to finish third. Harden fourth. Vucevic fifth. You guys get the deal here, okay? And what I did is I compared my projections to Jock Market's fantasy projections. And if I find an un undervalued stock, I'm going to sort by value here in the middle this shows where my projection compares against uh jock markets so if we actually take a look here and sort by value who's going to be the best value who's going to be the, the highest mover and we're going to talk about some of these plays here i'm going to go over the top five so Michael Carter Williams is my number one stock to invest in because Jock Market has him all the way down here at 75, which is out of 80 potential stocks, which is just, is just very undervalued on the surface. I have him ranked at 43, which means he could potentially move up 32 spots. And that to me seems like a very, very good investment. So let's take a look at the board. Let's see why Michael Carter Williams is undervalued. So if we take a look at the injury report right now, First off, Orlando is playing against Atlanta. Orlando's in a very good pace-up spot. Keep in mind, this game doesn't start till 8 o'clock, so you might be able to grab a lot of these undervalued stocks, uh, under, uh, undervalued shares here from Orlando in general. So, um, Michael Carter-Williams, let's actually take a look at the Orlando picture. Michael Carter-Williams is projected at 29 points. All the guys within that, that 70 to 80 range, they're only projected about 20 to 25 minutes. So first of all, Michael Carter-Williams is playing more minutes than all those guys. And he, again, he's in a very good pace of spot. He played uh, 29 minutes, which is his exact projection in the last contest. And I believe that was with Evan Fournier even playing. So um, very bullish on Michael Carter Williams, especially if Evan Fournier sits. He could potentially be playing uh, more minutes. Right now, he's projected to play 29 minutes with Fournier, so he's going to get a bump in minutes, going to get a bump in usage. So, therefore, my favorite stock to invest in as of right now is going to be Michael Carter Williams at that 75 spot. Yes, that might change closer to luck, but again, 43 is what we have him at projected wise. Next on the list is going to be Montrez Harrell. We know the mess of the Lakers right now. The Lakers are all over the place. They have AD and LeBron James out. And also pending injury news here on Caruso, Gasol, and Kuzma. Here's the one thing about uh, Montrezl Harrell in general. He gets a 28.1% usage rate with AD and LeBron off the court, and that's actually the highest on the team. Right now, we only have him projected at 22 minutes, but again, if other injuries happen to come uh, to the front here for the Lakers, he's going to get an, an even greater boost in minutes. Absolutely love him. Could potentially play 28 minutes, depending on uh, who gets rolled out for the Lakers, but he still averages 1.35 fantasy points per minute. Again, as of right now, even with these injuries still projected to play, we have Montrezl Harrell, a lofty 31 uh, final rank compared to a 59 just with that fantasy point per minute boost. It's a great matchup. That might be a little too bullish, but I absolutely love Montrezl Harrell, especially if these other injuries are ruled out. So grab Montrezl Harrell. I think he's a great investment tonight. Another one, we're going to stay inside the exact same team here. We're going to be looking at uh, Horton Tucker. Averages 1.15 fantasy points per minute and a 28% uh, usage rate here with these guys off the court. When you compare that to his minutes, let me just take a 
look at his minute projection because I actually forget what it was. It was pretty high. 23 minutes. He just doesn't belong in his initial projection. Right now, they have him at 76. That's near the very bottom, comparing him with uh, Michael Carter-Williams. Just a tremendous value stock. Uh, think of him as a penny stock. We have him finishing around the 50th rank, 26 potential movement spots. So, absolutely love Horton Tucker here in the 76th spot. Another guy I want to talk about, just for no reason other than just a, a mispricing, a misplacement. Right now, Herter is at the 51 spot. Let's take a look at Herter. Has been outperforming his ranking as of late. And again, a very soft matchup we still have hunter and reddish who are the two major shooters here on this team somebody has to fill that void so herder's been doing very very well got 30 34.5 and 25.5 dk points in his previous three matchups just love the matchup love the placing right there for uh, kevin herder just at a, a 51 ranking that's just way too low we haven't projected at the 38th spot and then last but not least i want to talk about terrence ross going back to that orlando matchup again if fournier is rolled out i absolutely love terrence ross but i like him in general he's been doing pretty well he's been playing a lot of minutes 32 36 minutes and that's with evan fournier playing so nothing more than just a very good matchup uh a misplacement here 6300 dollars over here on DraftKings. so um i think that's a you know the pricing for that is very good for a mid-tier player so I think he is a mid-tier player. I think he belongs in that 42nd spot. Um, definitely not in the bottom half. So at 55, definitely think he is misplaced. Let's talk about some potential players that I actually hate in terms of value. So if we sort here by the smallest, Sterling Brown is sitting there at the 48th spot, but he's only playing about 24 to 28 minutes. Definitely don't like that. Markeith Morris right now, yes, he will get a bump in minutes um, if those guys are ruled out. But right now they have him at 44th. I don't know why. Um, definitely don't think he's 44th ranked. We actually have him only projected at 19 minutes gonna finish in that 70th spot same thing with kyle kuzma again all of these are pre um the additional uh injury report here for for the lakers we have him in the 30s or jock market has him in the 37th spot and we haven't finished we have him finishing uh 60th so um deshaun tate also at 46 going to finish in the 67th spot for us and last but not least well, all the injuries are back here for Thaddeus Young so 43 dropping down to 58th those are going to be my top five guys to avoid and hopefully you guys did enjoy this jock market content if you did please do hit that subscription button notification bell and of course smash that like button for all of our future jock market content with all that being said have a great rest of your day and let's cash